What is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior, aka the delay. Man, y'all already know who it is, man. Alright, so today one of what I'm gonna be showing you guys is the five basic moves you need to learn to become a dribble god. These are the stepping stone moves you need to learn to officially become a dribble god. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Alright, so the first move I'm gonna show you guys is the momentum cross. Now in 2K19, you could do the momentum cross a little bit different than you were able to do in 2K18, 17, and 16. This year, you could actually hold RT or R2, whichever console you're on, throughout the entire animation. In previous 2K, you had to release R2 for RT after you flick the right stick, all right? But I would not recommend doing it that way. I would recommend just doing it the original way because it's more effective that way and it causes like it causes you to do weird stuff sometimes if you keep your hands on RT or R2. All right, so just do it the generic way. I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that. All right, so let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is flick the right stick to the left, then pull the left stick to the left, and then hold RT or R2 right after you do that while holding the left stick to the left. All right, let's say the ball is in your left hands. What you're gonna do is flick the right stick to the right, then pull the left stick to the right, then hold RT or R2 depending on which console you're on pretty pretty simple and once you get out of the way you'll be able to do these other moves that you need to become a dribble god all right all right so the second move i'm going to show you guys is the momentum behind the back a pretty effective move all right so what you're going to do is let's say the ball is in your right hand you're going to flick the right stick to the left then pull the left stick to the left and then immediately you're going to flick the right stick downwards Obviously, you are holding R2 before you do that, okay? The controls will be on screen so you can understand. I'm going to explain this one more time so you can understand clearly, all right? Let's say the ball is in your right hand. You're going to flick the right stick to the left. Then you're going to pull the left stick to the left while holding R2. And then you're going to flick the right stick downwards, okay? Let's say the ball is in your left hand. This time, you're going to flick the right stick to the right. Then you're going to pull the left stick to the right while holding R2 or RT, whichever cons you're on, then flick the right stick downwards immediately pretty pretty easy you could get a lot of ankle breakers off this and you could get a lot of open layups and open dunks off this all right pretty easy now sometimes when you try to do this move you're gonna get a weird animation that looks like this if you ever get this animation all you have to do is make use of it and just activate a spin right after you do it so let's say you do the move and the ball is in your right hands what you're gonna do is rotate the right stick counterclockwise all right and if you do and the ball is in your right hand, you're going to rotate your right stick clockwise. Pretty simple. Just make use of this move. You end up doing it weird. Just turn it into a spin afterwards and you can still get ankles like that and you can get open. All right. All right. So the next one I'm going to show you is the actual momentum spin. So let's say the ball is in your right hand, what you're going to do is flick the right stick to the left and pull the left stick to the left while holding RT and then you're going to rotate the right stick counterclockwise. Alright, let's say the ball is in your left hand, you're going to flick the right stick to the right, then pull the left stick to the right, then you're going to rotate the right stick clockwise. Alright, pretty simple, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Let's say the ball is in your left hand, you're going to flick the right stick to the right, then you're going to pull the left stick to the right while holding RT and then you're gonna rotate the right stick clockwise now this move gets a lot of ankle breakers because the momentum cross alone gives you a lot of ankle breakers and the spin gets you a lot of ankles as well so combining it just increases the chance of you getting easy ankle breakers you can spam this and get like three ankle breakers maybe even more in one possession pretty pretty easy all right so the next one I'm going to show you is the momentum half spin and it's it's basically the same as a momentum spin, but you're gonna be rotating the right stick twice. All right, so let's say the ball is in your right hand, you're gonna flick the right stick to the left, and then you're gonna pull the left stick to the left while holding RT. Then you're gonna rotate the right stick counterclockwise twice. Okay, let's say the ball is in your left hand, you're gonna flick the right stick to the right, then you're gonna pull the left stick to the right while holding RT, then rotate in the right stick counterclockwise twice. Now you could play with this move and make it look different depending on how fast you rotate it the second time, right? Now you can see I have a bunch of different clips of me doing it and it looks a bit different because I'm rotating the right stick at different times. So the later you do it, it's going to look different. Like you can mess around with it and make it your own move. The faster you rotate it is the faster he's going to do it and you can like 
kind of trick people by waiting just a little bit longer so you could actually do this whenever you want don't wait too late or it's just not or it's just not gonna work but like you see in the clips it looks different simply because like i said i'm waiting a little bit longer before i rotate it the second time all right so like i said you can mess around with this move and kind of make it your own move right here in this clip i didn't rotate it twice what i did was i momentum crossed to the right and then i rotated the right stick counterclockwise all right once so let me explain let's say the ball is in your left hand what you're going to do is flick the right stick to the right then push the left stick to the right while holding rt then you're going to rotate the right stick counterclockwise just once all right because to trigger the half spin you need to rotate the right stick in the direction that you're going so what i did was momentum cross to the right then i rotated it to the right that's that's why i got that different looking animation like i said you can mess around with this move and make it your own do it how you want to do it pretty it's a pretty versatile move you can use it however you want you could get a lot of ankle breakers from it as well pretty effective man all right so the last one i'm going to show you that's really going to elevate your dribble game if you're like a basic dribbler or you don't know how to dribble like i said these moves are really the stepping stones to becoming a dribble guy all right so this is the momentum snatch and what you're going to do is basically momentum cross and then flick the right stick downwards now i'm not going to show the controls for this because i showed you guys how to momentum cross like a million times in this video already so but you can just momentum cross and then flick the right stick down whichever ball whichever hand the ball is in it doesn't matter just momentum cross and then flick the right stick down i'm not going to show the controls because like i said i show you guys a million times already how to momentum cross in this video just momentum cross and then flick the right stick downwards pretty pretty easy all right all right so if you found this video helpful be sure to smack that like button man comment subscribe if you're new follow me on instagram because i will be doing future giveaways on my instagram my name is King Superior and I'll let you guys later man. Peace.